my tears are just always there it just needs a small trigger and nowadays i don't mind it i used to be so embarrassed about it but nowadays i just don't care it's it's me i feel things i'm a feeler <laughs> if i can put it that way Hi and welcome to my channel this is where we live boldly and today I want to do a tag video because the last one that I did which was the new youtuber tag um, really really got um, good viewership and you guys really enjoyed it and asked for another one so today I'm just going to pick out these are 25 get to know me tag question lists and um, some questions are kind of replicated so I won't even touch on them I'll just refer you to watch my new YouTuber tag video so that you can know about it. So question one, are you named after anyone? Um, my first name Cynthia, no, I, my mom just liked the name and she just gave me the name, but my middle name, um, there, yeah, my middle name, my middle names, yeah, I have like three middle names, Moviki and Nerea, I, I was named after my grandmother. So that's how I got my middle names. When was the last time you cried? I can say last night because I was watching a wedding video and it was so sweet and it was so sweet. The groom, the groom was so emotional when he saw the wife um, coming down, the bride coming down the aisle and it got me teared but I also cry easily by the way um, I cry over a good movie I cry over a good book I cry over like if I if I hear if I hear good music sometimes I also shed a tear so, do you have kids no I don't have kids currently but I am hoping and trusting in God to bless me with a husband and then get kids I'd like like four kids I just want the house to be to be busy I want the house to be lively Although I know how the economy is set up right now, it's kind of like impractical, but I have faith and I believe that my husband and I will will be able to provide for these kids. Yeah, so I'm hoping. So the most for the least two, but I, I have one sibling, so we are two in the house. And when the other person was away, it always felt like you always felt like the only child in the house so maybe between three and four that's what I'm looking at so that at one time when someone is away they can always be two or three kids in the house that's how I want it if you were another person would you be a friend of yourself <laughs> oh, sit down be humble I don't think this applies here um, yes, I would be a friend to myself because I am a good listener. I am a good conversationalist. I I make silly jokes here and there. I know how to have fun. So I would be a friend to myself because I, I love hanging out with myself. So if I were another person, why not? I, yeah, I can show you a good time. You know, we can always chill. No awkward silences here. As long as also the other person is willing to, willing, what's the, willing buyer, willing seller? Yeah, I feel also like some people bring awkward silences upon themselves. They don't just, don't want to try. And then they end up saying when we're with that person, it's weird. Okay, I'm off tangent right now. Let me go back. Um, do you use sarcasm a lot? no i don't i used to be a little bit sarcastic while back in university but not anymore i feel like sarcasm is an ingenuine form of communication yes it's fun like it's fun to hear sarcasm like in sitcoms and you'd laugh about it but i feel in real life the people who use it a lot are trying to to mask what they really feel or they're not being genuine in what they really feel so they can tell you something hurtful but in a funny way or mask it around like a joke but that's what they really feel and you won't ever know and sometimes I feel like people who are overtly sarcastic sometimes they come off as mean yeah they come off as mean like if you overdo it what is the first thing you notice about people I think I look at their eyes first just to see if they are just to see I, 
I don't know. I think I gain someone's countenance through their eyes. I can tell if they're mean. I can tell if they're sweet. I can tell if they're kind. And then the type of words they use. Is it positive words? Is it negative? Is it like sarcastic, mean streak kind of thing? And then I notice their intelligence, like how they think. Yeah. I'm a sapiosexual. So intelligent people do it for me. Um, what is your eye color? <laughs> usually, this is really such a wide question, like, because white people are the ones who have different eye colors, like, distinct eye colors, like blue, green. For us Africans, it's either black or brown, mostly brown, so mine is dark brown. Um, favorite smells. I really, really love the smell of the soil when it first starts to rain or when it's almost raining. It usually smells so, so heavenly. I really, really love that smell. Um, I also love the smell of spices, especially when they're mixed together. I love that. I love turmeric, the smell of turmeric um, and the smell of cinnamon. Yes, I love that. What else? And then one time, a friend of mine says she loves the smell of petrol. Like, when I go to a petrol station, like when the car is parking there, waiting to be filled up with oil, I cover my nose. I can't stand that petrol smell. But she loves it. She loves it so much. Like, some, I, I don't get it. Like, she says it's, it's a good smell. I don't know. Do you love the smell of petrol? Or is she one in a million? Because I don't get it. I do not get what she means. Where were you born? I was born in Pandya Hospital in Mombasa County. Um, do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. And I don't think in the future I'll have any pets because I don't like pets like that. Like I like looking at pets. I love pets in other people's houses. But I don't think I'd want pets in my own house. Just because, first of all, I grew up scared of pets. Um, I don't like how cats just circle around your leg and they want to just rub on your leg with their fur and their warm body. I, I don't get it. I don't like it. And like them leaving their fur all over you is just, it's not my thing. But ironically, when, when I was young, we had a cat. Yeah. My dad named the cat Bagheera after Jungle Book. <laughs> if you want Jungle Book, the original Jungle Book, not this Lupita one because it didn't do it justice. The black cat called Bagheera, my dad named our cat Bagheera. And he was such a uh, cool cat, by the way. Like, he'd know where the loo is and just go and pee near the door of the loo. Of course, I'd had to clean it up, but I was just like, okay, better there than the sitting room. And one time, he just disappeared and the next morning we found him dead. We found his dead body had been knocked over by a car, so that was sad. But for pets, I think I'd want to keep a parrot. Yeah. And train it to say good, uplifting things when I get into the house. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> um, I'm worried. Okay. I can't say I'm grown. I'm an adult now. I'm learning how to adult, but I'm not typically grown, I can say. But when, like, my ultimate, ultimate, like, what I'd want to do is to be, um, a content creator, like, a social impact content creator. I want to tell our stories. I want to showcase us as Kenyans and us as Africans and see ourselves also on the internet you know we also want our own videos to go viral our own videos to inspire people our own videos to educate people so that's what i'm working toward is to have my own content creation think tank that can be able to churn out such such content mm. How many countries have you visited? Uh, sadly, none whatsoever, but I'm still keeping the faith. I actually took my passport in 2014, um, and I've, I, I told God, like, okay, here's the passport, Lord. Open up those doors, open up these flights, open up these invitations. And twice, by the way, I've come this close to traveling 
but in one way or the other I haven't gotten around to it and it's it's actually disheartening but I'm not losing hope favorite memory from childhood hmm I think it was a family vacations because my mom works in the travel industry so we'd get to explore Mombasa so I went to Funzi Island where um, I got to eat crab for the very first time in my life and it is the most delicious thing ever. Um, I got to see dolphins, um, we went to Charlie Island, um, just hanging out as a family also those are really really good uh, memory because we, we have fun as a family and I think also a favorite memory was watching animations with my dad like my dad loves animation so as a young kid you can just imagine um you get to enjoy watching this with your parents and just not alone like over and over again and with no lines to the jungle book with no lines to aladdin it was just it was beautiful those were fun times and um how would you describe your fashion sense <laughs> um i don't First of all, I'm not, I don't think I am like fashionable, I don't think so. Just as long as it, it covers me up and as long as it's not indecent, I think that's fine. And nowadays I'm trying to, okay, I've purged my closet so I don't have unnecessary things in there. I notice that um, I, I just wear things that make me feel happy, things that make me feel comfortable and colors that really, really um highlight my features so fashion sense i i don't even know i don't i don't even think about such things even when i'm shopping mm -mm, i don't know i don't have an answer for that yeah what phone do you have i have an android i've always had an android i don't like windows phones and i'd really want to try an iphone just to exp to know what the hullabaloo is about yeah, I just want to experience an iOS also and just be like, oh, the iPhone people, oh, first time. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I'll get there one day. I'll, I'll try it out one time. Tell us one of your bad habits. Passive aggressive. Yes, I'm working on that. Jesus is working on that with me too. Um, I can really hold a grudge, but also, yes. We are working through it another bad habit is when i decide to pig out i can really pig out and just eat myself silly i and my body just easily expands anyway yeah there's that and if i don't feel like doing something sometimes i i won't i won't, I won't even do it or to the best of my ability or if even if you force me to do it it won't come out right um yeah I think those are my bad habits that I can share with you for now. <laughs> what are your bad habits? Let me know. So this marks the end of the tag, the tag questions. Uh, let me know what you think. Are there some things that resonated with you? You were shaking your head saying yes. Me too, Cynthia. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it and share it and subscribe to my channel so that you are notified every single time I post a new video. So until next time, live boldly. Bye-bye.